Hi, I'm Paula Blankenship with Heirloom Traditions, and this is Colby Cameron. She's my creative assistant, and we're going to show how to use the Venetian plaster powder today and give you some ideas on how to take a Formica tabletop and turn it into something textural and beautiful. start off today using Kingdom Gold. First of all, the table's already been primed with our Ultra Guard Primer. This was a slick Formica black tabletop, and we're going to give this a very Venetian looking finish. Again, we're going to put on over the primer our Kingdom Gold paint. We're going to use the Venetian, uh, the medium, and we're going to use about half full or, or a third full of this can has the Kingdom Gold in it. We're going to mix our first little batch using about three little spoons of the medium in this just to create a paste and you can see it starting to thicken up very quickly the more you add the thicker it gets so start slow and add slowly and as it sits just a bit maybe you walk away from this come back in a bit because it will really thicken up almost to a gel so you need to kind of go slow if you get a little much you can add water to go back and thin it as you can see, it's beginning to turn into a pretty heavy pudding. All right, so we're gonna add this onto the table, just in dollops. So we're gonna do a very random technique. Using about a two inch trowel, we're gonna just begin to spread this. Just kind of like spackling a wall. And you don't have to really worry about what you're doing at this stage because this is just laying on the first layer of material. We'll come back as, as the material begins to set up and we'll refine it in step two. Hi, and we're back to the second phase of our finishing of the project using the Venetian plaster medium. And Colby is working the process now as it begins to dry. And I'm gonna let her tell you a little bit about what she's trying to create here using her wide knife. All right, so I am taking all of the spots on the table that are really thick and I'm thinning them out to the thinner sections of the table. So we want you guys to be able to set your cups on this. We want it to still look textured, but we don't want it to feel like you can't set anything on it. So. All I'm doing is applying different pressures to different areas of the table that are too thick that won't dry quick and I'm bringing it to the sections of the table that are a little bit thinner. All you have to do is make sure that your knife marks aren't showing too much on the table so you don't want to go straight down. You want to hold your knife almost parallel to the table and just drag it across. And another tip that we want to talk about is the leaf of the table. So when we're doing leaves in our tables, we want to make sure that they are on the table so that you get the same finish, but you want to make sure that there's space so that you're not getting any um, of the paint into the cracks so that you can still close your leaf. So if you see any clumps that get on there, just wipe those up and continue to thin out those thick marks. So we are putting on the final finish coat to our tabletop. And as you can see, we've created a beautiful model finish. The piece to my right here already has our uh, Metallic Masters top coat in, in the copper penny on it. So we're going to show you how we applied that onto the leaf of the, of the table. And Colby's going to show you her technique that she used to brush on uh, the top coat. We didn't just roll it on. We wanted to create texture and visual texture. So she's going to show you how she applied the top coat here. Alright, so I'm going to take this top coat. I'm going to brush it on here 
and this is just a nice protector for the table and it gives a nice sheen color. It's not going to make it look overbearing, which is nice. But since I also don't want those brush strokes to be in there, I'm going to tap this before it can dry. So as I tap this, the brush strokes are gonna go away, but that sh shimmer is gonna stay. So it's a nice top coat for the table. Again, you wanna cover all of the table, but before it dries, you go through, blot out the streaks. We're back and we wanted to show you what the final table looked like once we apply the Venetian texture medium. And along with that, we also used our copper penny uh, patina to give it this great look and dark wax. We'll go over all those steps with you so you can create this at home. This was again a Formica table. We used Ultra Guard for our primer and then we applied the Venetian Texture uh, Medium right into our paint. We used Kingdom Gold. After that dried, we came over that with our dark wax and then we applied the Copper uh, Penny Patina on that as well as a Copper Top Coat. So you can see it created a lovely layered and textured finish. And again, we'll go over all those steps with you so you can create this great finish at home. Thank you.